Welcome, I'm Zerondin, and thank you for tuning in to my channel. This is the Pandaren Monk playthrough, part four. And we're gonna show off roll today. So let's get right to it. First off, here it is, roll, level five. The big thing that everybody seems to be excited about for the monk. Uh, it is actually a pretty cool ability, so let's go ahead and just use it right now. There it is. Pandaren Roll. It's kind of like a short sprint. Um, it can be definitely useful in getting around, especially before you have a mount. Uh, what you will notice, actually, is it can charge up twice. Uh, right now, you see a counter there, and it says one now. Now we can't actually see the recharge, but it is still recharging. Uh, it takes 30 seconds per charge. It'll go to a maximum of two charges. And once, once you have even one, you can do a roll and it'll go back to zero. And now we can see where the charge is at for that second one, which is actually now the first one. So, let's go ahead and continue on with our quest line. And here is Hua. I'm just going to call him Hugh. Uh, so, what we have to do is use a little tender and throw some wood on him for... Just gonna ignite him, make him burn better, I guess. Blow some wind at him. Whatever. You'll notice he is a little bit of a reuse of the Ragnaros mini pet icon or uh, companion, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. He's awesome. Got a little bit of a cat look to him. So, got a kitty Ragnaros, I guess. So, we'll go ahead and grab his next quest. We'll move on. Uh, I believe he's supposed to accompany me. Hmm. That might be broken. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, there he is. I just had to wait. I had to be patient. Uh, what you're going to notice now... Actually, there is a shortcut out of that room. If you turn around and run to your right instead of the left, you'll get out quicker instead of having to go through the flame jets again that we saw on the last part. Uh, back to my train of thought there. What you can notice right now is that we're actually getting a speed boost. So if at any point you just want to run around and view the Wandering Isle, whether it's on the beta or once the Miss Pandaria is actually out, take this opportunity to do so because it's the fastest you're ever going to be while you're on this Wandering Isle. And you can just run around, check out scenery, you know, see the sights. It's not something you're going to need to do. Uh, you are going to see 90% of the island just by questing. But if you're so inclined, go ahead and do it. I know I did my first playthrough. So, What we are doing now, though, is we are running up to the center of the island. To the Temple of the Five Elements, I believe it's called. We'll see that name shortly. It'll show up. Ah, Temple of the Five Dawns which does stand for the elements, hence the confusion. And I'm actually going to do a quick run around of the building just to kind of show it off a little bit. Uh, you got over here is a little shrine with another one of those scrolls uh, that we had to burn in part two. I really like these trees. They're very Asian styled with the bright colors and they're not your standard Elwyn forest trees, or even your like Terracar forest trees. These are quite elaborate. I, I like them. And they don't look like utter filth like the old ones do. Uh, so we'll run around here. Uh, that area down there, the forest, is going to be used towards the end of the walkthrough. That is actually where you'll meet the Alliance and Horde for the first time. And uh, that way is where we'll be going next. So let's just finish our run through, run around. You can just see kind of new crates and boxes and pots and things. Just kind of idle average doodads, but they are interesting to look at for the first time since they are new to World of Warcraft. You actually see over there where we started in part one. All right, let's go ahead and get 
going on that quest line again. We'll run in on here. If you actually watch who, Hyo here, he is going to wander up. And he's actually going to... Boom, big fire pillar. And he's going to go into this lamp here and reignite it. It's almost as if he's returning home to where he belongs. It's kind of a cool moment. If you stand back and watch it. Oh, you'll also notice that G Firepaw and Ayesa have come and joined us. We're all going to kind of be dispersed on our own missions at this point. Uh, and of course, we're going to continue to follow around and help those two as we need to become their friends so that it makes the choice of Alliance or Horde difficult. So we'll go ahead and let them be dispersed. As par the course, I'm kind of the champion of the area. I've saved some lives from the hosen and the troublemaking plant fellas. And uh, so what we're going to do is grab the next quest. And you can, you can see, we're going to go down and see a Yissa Cloud Singer again. Um, I'm actually just going to start calling her Cloud Singer, since I'm not sure I'm saying her first name properly. Uh, so... We will continue on with our quest. And uh, there's a cool little moment here. We get two little kid Pandaren coming up, talking to us. All like, hey, mister, you're the one that brought the fire spirit back. Was he hot? I bet he was hot. Of course he was hot. Don't be dumb, dang. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do the voices. <laughs> but I'll let you guys read those and enjoy them. Just a cool little moment, a little bit of flavor, and then of course the guys run around in eight different directions and just despawn. <laughs> Hopefully that pathing will be fixed by Blizzard before the beta ends. Uh, so we'll get rolling, pun intended, obviously. Alright, and when you hit this crest, just look at that. I mean, this is just the Wandering Isle. This is tiny chunk of what we get in P Missa Pandaria, and it's utterly gorgeous. We're going to get an entire continent of this stuff. I mean, just just enjoy some of that once in a while. I mean, remember, you're playing a game, this game to have fun, not to work your butt off and level. Every once in a while, just enjoy what Blizzard has created. Just wondrous. And maybe I make a little too much point of that, but I feel that we don't do that anymore in World of Warcraft. We're always just running around and what gear can I get? Where can I level next? How can I be the best? Period. We never stop and look around and see what, what a great world we're really immersed in. Alright. Grabbing some more quests here. Uh, this is actually pretty amusing. You'll see everybody running around turning into skunks, and you can actually... Well, okay, that sign's no longer interactable. Uh, but this is the pond or lake... Oh, there it is. We're in the singing pools, and this is the pool of the skunk. So you'll notice I turned into a skunk. Let's see if I can... Yeah, there we go. I turned into a skunk. And what you'll actually learn when you talk to Cloud Singer here... If I can get over her, over all the pandas and what is that uh, these pools are magical and when creatures of wildlife die in them the pool takes on their spirit or essence and so that's why we're turning into different animals in these different pools notice something right there when we grab that last quest Let's see if I can find it again yeah Known issue, the clickable locations of the pools and the monks are lower than intended. Uh, that's just referring to some beta issue of these posts, and there was some trouble getting around on them earlier. Probably still, yeah, they're still there to a degree. But, not too bad. Um, I actually don't want to start this area just yet. There's a quest for here later but it's not letting me off of them. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna...
kill a monk here. Well, I'm not gonna kill him, he's my friend. I'm gonna clobber his face in. You'll notice here that I'm balancing on one foot, as you obviously have to do on these tiny, tiny poles that aren't big enough for multiple feet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they should shrink those a little. I don't know. Uh, let's go over here to this pool that we actually need. Uh, I'm not sure what pool this is. Or it's no pool, since I'm not turning in anything. And we'll take out our monks. Get some clobbering and tiger palm in here. Okay, it's the pool of the frog. I don't know why I wasn't turning into a frog. I obviously can't roll on these posts. That would be, well, counterproductive. You'd fall off. Uh, when you are done with your monks here, you'll need to go to the ones on the shore over there. You see them, you see them right here. Uh, and those will automatically kind of eject you off. Uh, what you'll notice now is I am having trouble targeting the monk here. I actually don't have this one near me targeted, I believe. Yeah, I have this one way over here. Uh, that's one of the many issues they were talking about. So that should be fixed again by the time it goes live. Typical beta, a lot of errors and issues running amok. Uh, but that's why we're here. That's why we beta test. We need to get some reeds. There should be several reeds on the ground. I'm actually not seeing any reeds right now, uh, but there are multiple pools, so we'll just get over to another pool and grab some reeds out of that one. This is I'm now a frog. Again, another pool of the frog. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, for some reason I couldn't pick those reeds up. We'll grab this one instead. Might be another beta air here. Yeah, that's interesting. Those might be non despawning reeds. I'm not sure what the case is actually there. Alright, uh, let's go to another pool, see if we can get those reeds. Actually, I do need to uh, ring this bell over here, so we will jump to that and ring that. That way we don't have to come back. You just jump over, it rings it automatically for you. And then you can actually just jump off, you don't need to waste time jumping on the post to get back. Oh, you'll notice there is a skunk or a frog. If I roll, I just kind of fly forward. I don't actually roll. That issue is actually going on with pretty much all the other races right now. I think the Night Elf one works, except you hover two or three feet above the ground when you roll. Well, I appear to be having an issue with these reeds right now, so I am actually going to call it quits for part four here, and uh, I will see if that gets fixed in a few days, or I will just do it without the recording, since it looks like it's going to take quite a while to grab those reeds. So, once again, I'm Zerondin. I ask you to subscribe if you like my video, and uh, thank you for tuning in.